five biggest mistakes I made as a high school coach. Number one, and I did this my first five years, I showed him every move I learned plus 10 I learned in college. And we got really, really good at nothing. I know we got really, really bad at everything, I should say, versus getting really, really good at a few things. Even this day and age right now, it was, we, spend, we spend all of our time on our feet, high crotch, single legs, a few double legs. That's what we spend our time on. It's amazing if you came and watched a college practice, how basic it was. Now, if you got a guy that's got an inside trip or a throw or a high crotch, or a, uh, you don't take that away from him, and you can spend time uh, maybe implementing that in a five or ten minute segment, like feet to back. We might go, all right, we're going to go feet to back. But spending a lot of time on, on that extra stuff, those kids figure that out. What I learned as a coach, those kids figure that stuff out on their own. That's the fun stuff they do at camps with their buddies and the stuff they learn uh, on flow wrestling and stuff like that. But I know as a college coach, I want kids that come in that have really good solid leg attacks. I want a kid that can get to the, with one stance, he can get to the right leg, he can get to the left leg, and if he's got any type of explosion, he can get a double leg. But if he doesn't have any explosion, he's never going to get a double leg. So he's got to have a good leg attack to one leg and a good leg attack to the other leg. That's it. Got to have some front headlock skills, short offense skills. The bottom, he's got to be able to stand up or get to his butt. Doesn't need a roll, doesn't need a switch. Just as soon wouldn't have him teach it, to be quite honest. Get good at the stuff that's going to win at the high level. On their feet, be able to ride guys and finish periods on top. I mean, on the bottom, top. Make sure you can finish periods on top. Make sure that you can hold guys down when you got to hold guys down. If it's two to one or it's two to nothing, I take you down. We go off the mat. There's 30 seconds to go in the first period. We're trying to win at a high level, a real high level. Two to nothing, dressers up. We go off the mat, we come back down. It's really important for me to be able to keep that guy down for 30 seconds. Really important for me to be able to keep that down because I'm trying to beat a high-level guy. It's going to be a one-point match. So starting the second period, two to zero is a big deal compared to two to one. So having that kind of basic skill set, and that's what we spend a lot of time on, right?